you know how people are, they, they tend to lock you in. And a lot of people said, um, excuse me, this girl has only done theater and a soap opera and we're gonna give her the lead in a comedy opposite Tony Danza, who has been on Taxi and it's like, you know, Mr. Comedy. I learned what I learned about comedy from Tony Danza. He taught me so much about timing. And so, you know, they got to know that over time I could be funny and that my timing was good and, and all of that. But the, they're very different mediums. A soap opera is very intense. I mean, you are working, and if you have a big storyline like I did, you're memorizing 60 pages of dialogue a day because I didn't know how to use the teleprompter. I could only use the teleprompter if I had a phone call. I would pray for a phone call in the soap so that I didn't have to memorize it. But, and the drama and the having to have the ability to be truthful in a moment, in a second on the soap so that it doesn't come across as fake and inauthentic was very arduous and a big challenge. And you had to do it quickly and you had to do it every day. I mean, we were wrung out at the end of the week. It was really exhausting. And it is some of the best training that I have ever had. I would recommend it to everybody that when you're starting out, do a soap opera. It will train you in so many different things and you have to be really careful that you don't get into bad habits. And that was something that happened to me. I had to be really careful. I had to unwind myself in a way. Um, but I had this wonderful director, some great directors on there, Norman Hall, David Pressman, uh, Peter Miner. And I said to Peter one day, I said, I don't know how to do this. I don't, what, you, tell me how to do this. He said, just think of it like it's a theater performance. First rehearsal, first reading is first reading. First rehearsal, first rehearsal, dress rehearsals, dress rehearsal, go to camera, it's opening night. So I would, that was how I did it. That was how I moved myself through the process of that. Sitcom, altogether different. I mean, you have a whole different, you work up to the end of the week. So we started on Monday, we read the script, we left, the writers went to work. So at a table read, you really had to give them something. You had to really work to make the jokes work, the story work, so that they weren't gonna go back into the writer's room and sit there for hours seeing if something worked. You had to let them know that there were things that they had that, that were already that were already fine and they didn't have to touch, they didn't have to deal with, but that there were other bigger things that they really had to address. We had a team of people that, was, that were always open to input. And mind you, Tony was really our leader. Tony was our Moses. I mean, he really took, I mean, because of him and the way he was, he really took us to the promised land. Tony was working with Blake and Marty. He was working with all of the writers. And we would say things, or we would try things in rehearsal, and we would see that it would fall flat. So Tuesday we would come back, they would give us a new script, we would read it, then we would go to work and we would block it.